Why, hello everybody. I hope you're doing well today. Today, I know what you're thinking. What's what's going on? This is not my usual drip. Well, unfortunately, I caught um, Ganacifa herpalades. And believe it or not, catching such a rare and dangerous disease does increase how good you are at Elden Ring. That's right, guys. So we're going to be using an arcane build today. I've just been kind of fooling around. I don't really know what I'm doing in terms of stats and whatnot. I don't know what's considered, like, really good. But we have some really cool stuff we're going to use today. There's a bunch of different occult weapons or arcane scaling ideas that I have in here. So if you want to see videos about those eventually, I'll definitely do that. But I have a specific setup I had in mind today that I wanted to use. Essentially, we are going to be mostly making use of an occult venomous fang. And then we also have as, a, have as an off, off option, if you will, offhand dagger in the form of the Reduvia and a vulgar militia saw. So there's a couple things going on. The Venomous Fang is unique because it is the only weapon in the game that is both poison infused and has an ash of war, as far as I'm aware. But what's also special about this weapon is that it has deadly poison. So it doesn't last as long. I think it's around a minute versus three minutes for normal poison. But it's doing around 18 damage per tick in comparison to eight. So it's technically less damage over time, but it's going to chip away during that period of time much faster, okay? And if you poison infuse it, it will actually retain the 18 damage while gaining the three minute timer of normal poison, which is very unique. Um, however, the reason we're using a cult is because the buff stacking and damage on this build is so high that I don't think it's going to be hitting usefulness all that much in that like two minute to three minute range. Like, I think it's more valuable to get our buff, have the damage be like super high pressure in the moment, and then it being shorter also lets us get the exaltation buffs back faster. So that's really nice. But essentially, Storm Stomp is making it to where we can definitely monkey brain our way out of some hairy situations sometimes. And so you need to run forward at your opponents to get within range with these things. They're extremely short. And Storm Stomp makes that a ton easier. You don't have to be good at the game to land Storm Stomp. So that makes it very easy. Um, and also it being a cult infused causes the poison buildup to still increase, not by the same amount that it poison infusing it would be, but as you can see, 131 is nothing to scoff at, especially when you're attacking with stuff that is probably going to phantom hit a lot, okay? And then we also have the Militia Saw with the Reduvia. Now you could run, say, a blood infused Wakazashi with, um, whatchamacallit, a uh, crag blade or an occult one with crag blade something like that um you could definitely do that it is a it's sort of the poster child for offhand dagger but the reason i'm running reduvia is because of its ash of war essentially if the opponent is trying to use a poison ballus and i'm already swapped over to this move set i can do this and try and punish the ballus with a nice reduvia ash of war or i can try and get a running r1 and now usually, almost always, when people are using Offhand Dagger and Halberd, they are using one of the poking halberds like the Banished Knight. So technically this is quite a bit less powerful because this overhead chop when one-handed is very, very slow and telegraphed and is kind of crap. But essentially we're using this setup for specifically the pressure once they are poisoned and then I can swap to this two-handed where it becomes significantly better if I so choose. And then we can also swap to this for the Ash of War if we so choose. So obviously with all of this in mind, I'm not doing my normal stuff where I'm like swapping weapons all the time. I'm kind of condensing everything to one layout, um, which I suppose is how most people play. Uh, the few swaps that we do have is this right here. If we take some damage, we can go up to the Prosthesis and the Sword Insignia. These are going to make it to where our consecutive attacks are going to boost our damage even further. And so the amount of buff stacking we're doing by just simply existing is truly insane. Um, we also have the Swaddling Cloth if we want to regain HP. And then if we're really low, we have the Feather Branch Swords. Everything else here 
I could use, but I'm probably just going to keep it to these six right here for the most part. So with that being said, I say we go ahead and do a couple duels, a couple invasions, and have a good time with something that is really, really oonga boonga. Alright, let's go. Alrighty, let's hope we get a couple killers tonight. Uh, I've been fighting a couple, just warming up. That is a scary build. Alright, let's go. Okay, I expected him to just do another standing R1. Go ahead and swap to that. Surprised I got out of that, in all honesty. We just gotta let him wear himself out. Oh, I just realized how low I am. Okay, I just got monkey clubbed. It's okay, it's okay. You know, sometimes when you have a mushroom on your head and you have Gonocypha herpalades, your brain don't work. It's okay. We'll come back. It's okay. Who is our opponent? Blackmore. Alrighty then. Hello, sir. What beautiful fashion you have going on. The scaled armor does just look really good, doesn't it? Unfortunately, uh, it's kind of known as the uh, G9 clone armor. Wow! That's how you know it's 1.10 that that caught. Oh my god, I just Boston creamed myself. GG, sir. I'm so p sorry. You you got packed to the nether realms. Holy cow. What's up, Blyde? Alright, power stance spears. That's something quite powerful to test our metal on. Let's see, what's the first thing you want to do, sir? Okay, it's standing. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize I had those on. Short range, short range. Give me that. Give me that. That was really stupid of me, but it paid off. GG, sir. Enjoy the poisono. The poisono portellini poblano. Oh, we have a miner. As in, in caves, digging up rock miner, not child miner. Oh! No! Actually, the fact that just worked. <laughs> I don't feel really all that safe uh, going for the storm stomp on this, I'll be honest. Okay. He's got the poise and he's got the range. Okay. What? Bruh, oh my gosh. I just got put in the fucking ground by the pickaxe boy. Jesus Christ. Oh. It's it's another Gonosypha Herpalades enjoyer. Oh, so he's going for the whole shebang. Oh, I don't have enough time to. Okay. Oh, he's he's using that Omega shit. Wow. Oh, he poised it. Really? I didn't catch him right there. Huh. Good shit by my opponent, not getting hit by any of that. He's gonna have to ball us. Get that in time. Oh, poison wore off. Okay. GG, sir. Fellow infectious COVID-19 enjoyer. That is a terrifying setup, I will give it that. Oh man. What are these shadows doing? They're moving so fast. Hello, Mr. Iron Eagle. That sounds like if there was a mod that had a desert eagle in Minecraft. Oh, he's going for the whole shebang. Oh, he's still going. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, he's trapping. He's trapping a little too hard. Okay. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. He... He crossed all paths 
of the sorcery and incantation hemisphere. And it all led to getting Venomous Fanged. Very unfortunate. Hello, Monsieur. Mr. J. Oh, we buffing? Let's see, what is that in the offhand, if anything? Spacing. He kind of styled on me. He kind of styled on me. I won't even lie. Mm. He thinks he's naughty, but he ain't nice. GG, sir. Ignore the fact what I said just made zero fucking sense. Well, well, well. My homeland. It's almost like we're gonna have to do them dirty to Ek 406, you know? We're gonna have to show them who's the, who's the real Ganasurfa Herpalades mofo in this building. So, it looks like he's either down? Okay, he has to be down. Or no, he may be on the bridge. Yeah, he's on the bridge, I saw him. Alright, we're gonna have to yabba dabba do our way over there. Oh, they may be bloody fingered. No, they're fighting the Clean Rot Knight. We need to get over there before he kills them. Hello, sir. Come here. Oh, so you're a beta. Oh, so you're a beta. Okay. Perfectly understood. My bad. Sorry for not understanding sooner. We're going to we're going to storm stomp that before too much longer. This man's brain is so big. I can't even comprehend it. And so is this Phantoms. This is really big brain gameplay. So, he really likes lightning. We're going to do that to him. We're going to get out of there, because I don't feel like getting hit by all that. He misses right there, because I am so good at dodging. You're going for a second one, aren't you? Yeah? I knew it. How did I know? It's almost like... It's what all Rivers of Blood players do. <laughs> Oh! No, how did that miss? Oh! Nope. I want me healers. Oh, I'm out of range. Oh, I just realized I didn't ever physic. Sorry, guys. Hang on. Fun's over. I got a physic. Does it go through the wall? Oh, he got his... How do you get that back? Okay, he's not really paying attention. Okay. Okay, he's going for it again. How much FP do you have, my guy? No, 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 no. We could die right here. We have to preserve ourselves. No! Oh, we were having such a good time up there. Now I have to run back. Move, sir. They're not even going to play the level, are they? I bet they're not. You know why? Because they're a motherfucking beta, be beta. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, come on. Oh, he turned though. He didn't think he was gonna hit. Nice. You, you have to be Max or some shit. Like, how much mind do you have? Oh, you're out! Really? Oh, he almost got a roll catch. That was bad. Bro, that went straight through him, dog. Alright, one more.
We just need some range right now. Get that going. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. They don't know how poison works. They don't know how storm stomps works. They don't know what Gonna Surf and Herpalades is. Let's see. Yopa. Yopa o. Let's dance, baby. Summoning another cooperator, eh? That might be a little bit cringe. I will be honest. But it's okay. We'll make it work. Whoops. Actually, we don't have the, uh... Let's go ahead and do it like that. That is a build almost as cringe as mine is. Oh, okay, so these are gamers. These are gamers. Yeah, I know how your tiny brain works. Oh, he's trying to block the way. Yeah, these games, these guys are gonking. Bye bye then. The fact that I almost died from that. <laughs> nope. You know what? I think I like Storm Stomp. How do you like Storm Stomp? How do you get through that? What? Nice brain, dude. Nice brain, dude. Nice brain. That's my brain. Give me my brain. That's my brain. Packed and rolled into a blunt and smoked like a Cuban cigar. We are on those Scooby-Doo dicks, my guy. Tops, eh? Just spam against me. Just spam. Just spam. Oh. Oh, but I'm still invulnerable. Nice. Okay, okay. That all comboed. I hate the skulls. Fuck this. What do we got behind us? That sounds like more skulls. This is what the Beitussi male does. Oh, there's two moon veils. Beta, dude. Oh, okay. Bro, beta male fucking squad, dude. I hope I invade you guys again so I can ram the Venomous Fang straight up your Beitussi ass, dude, okay? You guys are out of fucking pocket with how normy you are. Oh, it looks like it's people that are playing the, the level. Dark Man King. No comment. So what is dead and what is not? Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a... Uh... Those are some boyos. This guy thinks he's slick. This man really thinks he's Walter White, bro. Oh, hyper armor and straight sword? I know, I know. I can't use Storm Stomp first is the thing. And Moon Veil. If, if this shit cake pie was not already complete... Just keep on going. Okay, so it's like PvPers that are protecting their PvE friend. I understand now. Okay. Alright. I feel like the other guy's, like, right above me or something. I rolled that. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, so these guys are playing like this is it's impossible to play the level now. Oh, what? All right. Well, we fall off because, you know, that's that's how it is when you when you live out on these peaks, bro. They're just standing still. Continue playing the level, my guy. Like make it the slightest bit interesting. 
This man really thinks he's Walter White, bro. You're not Walter White. You're not him, alright? Dude, you guys... Like, come on now. Yeah, okay, we're dipping. Fuck you. What is hitting me, dude? This is annoying as shit. Like, clearly his two phantoms actually play the video game. Fuck, he got out. This guy's so annoying. Bye-bye. That is so stupid. It's that last one made me feel a little bit suicidal. Oh, they're back. It's them. Is it them? I think it's them. Uh-oh. This looks like the death zone for these guys. Oh, no, it's the guys from before. We're hitting him with phantom hits. Oh! Help! I'm stuck on his corpse! Yes, we're out, we're out, we're out, we're out. Okay, I roll. I pressed the roll button, but this game does not work. Dude, I I'm running sideways. What else could you ask for? Are you going to attack him? <laughs> bye bye! Bye bye! So, what did we learn in today's travels? So, we learned that Arcane's really good. You should use Arcane. And I have gone a sip of Herpalades. And COVID 19. And herpes. Life sucks, bro. Okay, I I'll see you guys next year. Peace out. Fuck this. I'm, I'm gone. I'm gone. Peace. Bruh, I can't even fucking die right, dude. Bye. Bye.